Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, just a demo, a little review and look into uh, Addictive Synth. Um, you know, Addictive Synth is probably a synth I never would have uh, purchased. You know, I've heard a lot of people using it and uh, everything, but, you know, a generic name like Addictive Synth, I always uh, I always kind of assume that in my head that because it's got such a generic name that it's going to be a generic app, which is not the case with this at all, and uh, I really shouldn't think like that. Like, obviously, Beatmaker 2, horrible name for an app, but excellent, excellent app. Anyhow, um... This app is made by uh, Versin, the same people that made iVoxel, which you can probably tell just by looking at it because uh, it's very, very similar to the iVoxel interface. Um, you know, when I when I sent back my review to uh, to the developers there, they sent me over this app for my next review, and uh, you know, instantly I really, really like it. It has a lot of nice sounds in. Uh, if you're the type of person that likes presets, you know I'm not big on presets, I'd like to make my own sounds, but if you are, there is just tons and tons and tons of presets. About 200 to start off with here. Let me scroll down. Look at them all. Um, 192 presets, and then we have a bunch of extra banks here for our own, our own presets. Um, but crazy, crazy amount of presets. And, um, you know, a lot like iVoxel, there's no way I'm going to be able to show you every single feature of this app uh, in one video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go through, uh, I'll just go through and play a little bit of uh, a few random presets. And uh, then I'll show you a little bit of just the main panels and some of what the options do. So um, let's get started on this. So I just got the main first preset, Breathy Flute. So as you can see, much like iVoxel, um, once we dra grab a key, if we move left or right on the keypad here, um, with our fingers still held down, it'll, it'll bend the note. And um, if we go vertically, it will change the, the modulation, as, you know, like your mod wheel on your keyboard. So um, instead of having the the separate controls on the side it's right in with our keys which you know gives us some some neat things we can do so we can use two we can use two hands and still bend our chord um, all at the same time which is really interesting because you know obviously you'd probably have to bring your foot up on the the keyboard to do that on a real keyboard <laughs> but yeah a uh, pretty neat effect I gotta say so anyhow, um, that this is breathy flute. Let's move on to the to the next one. I'll just pick one at random here.
fell in the somewhere. Alright, pretty cool. Um, you know, way too many presets to go through here. Um, try a couple more. How about this piano? So, um, let's move on to our, our first panel here, the control panel. Alright, so a lot of cool things we can do here um, just by, um, you know, assigning, assigning patches to different things like, you know, obviously the XY pad here, which I, I don't really use a whole lot, but you could, uh, you could assign any of these values to that or, you know, to be controlled by a CC amount here um, coming in from a different app or or what have you. Um, you know, one of the things that I don't like about this actually is that uh, in our MIDI settings all we have control over is our input channel and nothing else. So, um, you know, if you're running multiple apps that send out to things, uh, you might have a problem with this synth. But, you know, like I always say, uh, you can use MIDI Bridge to get around just about anything. So, if you have MIDI Bridge, uh, you can probably use that to uh, to make this work in a, you know, with more synth and more midis, uh, more virtual midi running in the background and everything. So, anyways, I won't get too much into these, um, into these, uh, these controls here because, you know, obviously, uh, if you use a thin synth, you you know what most of these do already. So, um, not a huge deal. I'm just gonna go back to uh, the original preset here. And I'll see, uh, maybe I can, well, let's, let me do this one. Put this one on the X-pad here. There we go. Let's try this on the Y. Alright, so pretty cool. You can see that you can assign things pretty easily here, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to get too much into that. So let's take a look at this art page. Because, um, you know, this is pretty cool. I like how it works and everything. A um, little bit complicated, but it does give you a lot of control over things. So, um, you know, one of the nice things, you know, we can click anywhere and set this up exactly how we want manually. Which, in most cases, is probably going to be what you're going to do. Let me pop over here, and I'm just going to turn the ARP on in the loop recorder section. I'm not sure why the button for it's there. Maybe it's somewhere else, too, but that's where I found to turn it on. So, so as you can see, it's uh, definitely playing the ARP. So, I'm going to randomize this, because it's uh, really neat that we can randomize this and uh, come up with some, you know, unique, um, some unique uh, rhythms here just on the fly.
so obviously not a great uh not a great yeah. one here but um we can choose our arp from the preset in um right here where you know it's pretty cool that um they have this set up um so easy to do so i'm going to choose um our smite matter arp here um uh you know smite matter um almost in every he has his name in almost every uh, app I own, so uh, pretty cool. Um, definitely nice guy too. So, anyhow, see, obviously, since he's taken the time to make up like a great sounding ARP here, much better. Alright, so let's move on to the next section, and that's the looper. And, um, you know, obviously this is going to be pretty straightforward on what it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and record something here. So. <laughs> So there we go, we got our recording, and now we can, uh, we can actually go ahead and, uh, So um, now what we can do even is uh, we can actually take, um, I'll just use this ambient string here. And we can actually add a different uh, synth in, in our loop here. So let's do that. So as you can hear, not a great loop, but you know, obviously on the fly, not not really uh, paying much attention to what I'm doing. Um, but you know, cool little loop recorder, so you know, you can make up a, a nice little uh, sounding riff or loop or anything in here. And uh, this app does have audio bus, so you can send it uh, to record elsewhere, or you can record it right inside here. Um, the last uh, thing, obviously, our effect... Um, you know, these are pretty straightforward, um, not much to say here. And uh, since I'm running out of time on my video, uh, that's pretty much all I can show you for today. Um, I will say that I, I am liking this app a lot, and I think it has a lot of great sounds and uh, a lot of neat things we can do with it. All right, that's all for today. Uh, visit iOS Mars for more info, and I'll see you guys next time.